just keep drawing till I'm done. I mean, I can draw for about maybe nine, ten hours. After that, it gets kind of, you get tired. <laughs> My name is Alice Tangerini, and I am the staff illustrator for the Department of Botany in the National Museum of Natural History. My job is to illustrate all of the species that they bring to me for illustration. It's mostly, new, I would say, new species to science. They're discovering new species still out in remote areas, and also they're discovering species that were collected a hundred years ago that are sitting in our herbarium, which have never been described. A lot of my work is details, uh, features that you don't see just by looking at the plant in life. You have to put it under the microscope and you have to draw very specific details, usually uh, structural things like flowers, uh, fruits, seeds, but you want to do them close up to show the anatomical differences uh, between say that species and one very closely related to it. Every person you're drawing for, every scientist, has a slightly different view of how they want the drawing to look. You want to make it look good. You want to make the drawing look as presentable and accurate, but you're, you're also pleasing the scientist. And sometimes you're looking at the same thing under the microscope and you're seeing different things about it. And that's where it's really good to have two pairs of eyes with actually two different backgrounds looking at the same plant. The camera has images on its own, which are its own resource. And then you have the specimen itself, which is another resource. <laughs> and then you have the scientist who tells you what to look for. But then you have the eyes of the illustrator taking all of that together and combining it into an illustration that uses all the resources for the information. So I think that's the value of scientific illustration. Even today when everybody says, yes, you can just take a picture, but the picture doesn't have all the information that the artists can have by looking at the specimen and making decisions.